Life didn't deal the best hand to Aaron Davis, better known as his stage name, Bugsy Malone. Coming from Manchester from a family of crime and hard circumstances, he's a massive inspiration, but hella corny to other people. I was having a conversation with my friend the other day, and he said he loved Bugsy Malone until he started acting all flashy. And then it got me thinking, has Bugsy Malone actually sold out? Before that, let's look at his notable early music up until now to analyse this. In his very early beginnings, he worked with the Bradford OG King of the Hills TV. Shout out to him. He's one of my peers. He's always giving me great advice and sending me love. So big up to you. Check out his channel if you haven't already. One thing I've always admired about Bugsy Malone is his brand and his use of his own YouTube channel. In 2010, he dropped his Swagger Man mixtape. It was a real rap style. I hate you saying that word, real rap. I don't mean like one of those old heads that says real rap. Listen to the music that you want, who cares. I'm just saying that sort of like real, like rap sound with hard hitting rhymes. Not bad stuff, definitely had that sort of like street sound to it as well. And hip hop heavy metal, that is another soundtrack. Gets overlooked massively, it's got great storytelling in it as well. To really understand the mind of Bugs and Malone, I had help from a true fan. Shout out to my guy, Sam Shaw, for help on this one. He gave me the perspective to make this video. Many fans resonate with the 2014 Journal of an Evil Genius series. It spans over six weeks with six episodes. The project was the realest and rawest of his work ever in his career. It was really heartfelt. Bugsy really plays in multiple personalities. Serial Killer was a great opening track. On Unwelcome Guest, the video intro gives me chills. It's a masterpiece. We can learn more about his troubled past as a child. It's truly art. He goes in with his Dr. Jackal and Mr. Hyde. Sort of like ego. It's brilliant. Like, really check it out. I'd recommend it. His sound in this era is top tier. The whole direction with the videos is compelling. You can tell there's a lot of thought gone into the process to making this mixtape. From a marketing perspective, it's quite frankly genius. Childhood Memories is probably the best track he has ever composed. We see Bugsy sitting down with a therapist. It gave me goosebumps and it made me cry in all honesty. It's moving. It goes through twists and turns of his childhood and what really troubled him and his mother. Many fans felt like they could relate to this record. It appears he is talking to the mother of someone that he's robbed or done wrong in my interpretation of the song. Rainmaker follows on from the last record in the storyboard, then Troubled and Tormented, which could easily be a Shakespeare play. With the therapist making an appearance again, it's that good. Then the epic finale, the whole project is a masterpiece. It is truly underrated compared to his more recent work. It was hip-hop at its finest. I always feel incredibly moved watching Bugsy's Fire in the Booths. They always seem to move me and I go back to them every day. The classics. They forever give me goosebumps. Just gave a man goosebumps, you know? Yeah. But then, in 2015, this happened. Mosh Pit, it was just corny. Hey, 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 hey. Man, you corny! It was the beginning of corny Bugsy Malone. This is where we started to see him just showing off and showing his bravado off. I generally felt like this was like a cash grab compared to his older work. And it was just kind of like a going to the gym, lethal, bizzle type song, sort of like those kind of cheesy songs that were around that era. You compare this to lyrics from his older raps, and his older raps were a lot more grounded from where they are now. They almost seem like product placement bars. I think he did one song, I think it was called December, and like the whole lyrics were around date JD and like selling these shoes and things like that and it just, ugh, it just wasn't for me. With regards to his latest legal troubles, Feisty made a great video on this. I'm going to put the link in description, make sure you check it out, it's a really good he, video. It breaks down the whole like recent legal troubles. Let me know if you want me to do a separate video on that and talk about that. But this video that I found here is absolutely fantastic, check it out. Like, Sam made such a good point on this, like, the way that he dresses now and how he used to dress is completely different, like, drama was definitely the fall-off point, that record, like, just weak bars coming through on there. The way he dresses now in fancy clothes, like, in a sense, he's kind of sold out to himself because he's always been an independent artist and not backed by a major label, so with all these, like, product placement bars and all the things that he's doing now, like, he's essentially sold out to himself, if that makes sense. 
More recently, he released The Night After Halloween, which is him going back to his more raw self. There's a few notable, decent songs that he's released since then, like the one with Skip Marley, which is, in my opinion, a banger. But it's nothing compared to his older stuff. So I'm very interested to see what Bugsy Malone's going to do moving forward. And I just want to say, making this video, it's not to hate on Bugsy Malone. It's not to be like, oh, he's totally sold out. I'm not trying to be like one of those old heads that have said he's sold out. I'm just kind of analysing the lyrics, looking at the way that he comes across. And I generally do feel like he's sold out, but only to himself, if that makes sense. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like, give it a subscribe. I'm going to be bringing you more content like this. I really enjoyed making this and it was just a quick, fun one just to get a debate going. And yeah, comment in below if you want me to do another video on Bugsy Malone, if you want me to follow his career and do some more stuff on it. What do you want to see on the channel more of? Big up myself, DJ Market Marks. Make sure you subscribe and check out the videos that come up right about now.